you must have all heard the terms metals and non-metals. Can you look around and see if they exist in your surroundings? What is your table made up of? Aluminium or wood? What about the phone or the laptop you are viewing this video on? Is it made up of metals and non-metals? As a matter of fact, it is. Almost everything around will be made up of either a metal or a non-metal. But how do you differentiate between the two? Is it as easy as the difference between the two colours, black and white? Well, for that, let us look at the physical properties of each category in detail. Let us take for example the ornaments. Any of the ornaments will do. What do you have to say about them? You will observe that most of them are made up of gold or silver. Let us look at them closely. Do they have a shining surface? Or even the aluminium utensil in the kitchen? Does it shine? Of course, both gold and aluminium have a certain shine. Do you know what this shine is called? Well, it is called luster and as both gold and aluminium are metals, this is known as metallic luster. Now we know that metals have a metallic luster. Now if the utensil drops on the floor, does it break into parts? No, right? That is because metals are generally hard in nature. However, this hardness varies from metal to metal. A very thin plate of gold, for example, can be easily broken with a little pressure. Plate? Did I say plate of gold? How do you think huge aluminium sheets are made? Or sheets of copper or zinc? If I take a hammer and beat them, will they break or will they turn into sheets? It is the amazing property of metals to be beaten into sheets. And we call this property of metals as malleability of metals. Most metals can be beaten into thin sheets. Do you know another important property of metals? Have you ever seen copper wires or thin gold wires used to make jewellery? Metals, by nature, can also be drawn into wires. Do you have any clue as to what this property is called? It's called ductility of metals. The ability of metals to be drawn into wires is called ductility. There is an amazing fact I want you to know. A single gram of gold can be drawn into a 2 kilometer long wire. Isn't that amazing? Well, there are some more interesting properties of metals which we will learn in our next lesson.